Welcome back, everybody. Finally getting back out to film. It's been uh, about two weeks, but uh, Lauren just went out and camped last night. I ended up meeting up with her. You'll see that video, obviously, before this one. We're headed north. Got my buddy Ross. You've seen him, actually. He was in the first video we ever filmed on uh, the, this new channel. So, anyways, we're headed north. Gonna do some fishing tonight. Hopefully that goes uh, well, otherwise if not, we got a backup plan, but we're gonna be camping on a public campground in the county woods, so. Should be fun, it's 31 degrees out. It's 10.45 in the morning, so we're on our way and we'll uh, see when we get there. 46 minutes. All right, just got some uh, more fuel. Got some more waxies, so we should be good on waxies. Got some drinks, and uh, we're back on the road. About a half an hour drive from here, so getting there. It's pretty gnarly and salty out. Forgot, I just ran back in and got some washer fluid see how much this thing actually drinks definitely don't want to be stranded a bunch of salt on the windows and not uh, have something to clean it so oh yeah she was down there whoa can't park there bud shit in her britches <laughs> beautiful a lot of snow almost there man of many words I am all right I'm just pulling in here start fishing Bibs and jacket on. All right, guys, made her on the lake. We checked the ice once; it is not good. Got two layers of honeycomb. One, two. Yeah, that ice is trash. Mark some fish here, hopefully. Otherwise, we're just gonna keep moving. All right, here we go. Wonder bread looking tungsten. Little one. Oh my God. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Bunch of tiny dink crappies. It's not gonna be what we need for a fish fry. Oh my God. Hopefully this afternoon produces some better quality fish. Cause this ain't it. <laughs> hmm. About a quarter inch bigger. We're getting there. All right, guys. We're out here. We've been exploring quite a bit of this lake so far. Nothing but small crappies. It's currently two o'clock. Not sure if we're gonna stick it out till dark and hope. Uh, we get on some bigger ones or what we're gonna do yet but if we get into them I'll uh, make sure to turn the GoPro on so see what happens all right finally have something on here I think it might be a little northern or something northern? it's gotta be <laughs> oh 
Oh yeah, little snake. Right in the bill. I got him. <laughs> right in the snout. All right, guys. Well, that's the most uh, exciting fish of the day so far. Just a little guy. Get him back down. Oh. Oops, I probably swore on camera, huh? You're good. Oh, he's stuck in the hole. There. See you, bud. All right, guys. Fishing. Fishing's been pretty slow. A lot of little ones. A lot of little ones just like that. Ross, uh, I guess caught one decent one that he's kept so far, but the fishing is not uh, going the best. This is a pretty new lake though. Haven't fished it much. I don't know if it's mostly just stunted fish or what, but the best part is he doesn't know I have a backup for supper, so he thinks we're relying on a fish fry. <laughs> oh man, he's probably just miserable right now thinking about eating that one fish. They might turn on yet. I don't know. We'll see. I'm hoping. Last time I fished it, they did, but today's been a lot of uh, weeding out a lot of small ones. They're aggressive, that's for sure. They're just not the size we want. Well, fishing's been uh, garbage. What are we gonna do for supper tonight? <laughs> yeah this ain't good give it a last half an hour or so of light and go figure out our campsite hey I suppose uh, now it's probably a good time to tell you that uh, <laughs> we <laughs> We have a whole bag of shrimp and everything else to make some good old bussin' shrimp tacos. So if you want to pack her up, I mean, we can, but we're not uh, in need of living off of fish tonight, so. Yeah, fishing was a no-go, no good. We uh, won't be fishing that lake again. And now we're gonna head to camp, get all situated and make some shrimp tacos. All right, just pulling into camp. A lot of snow. Hopefully we can find a site that's uh, not too bad. Otherwise we're gonna be at, have, we're gonna have to do some shoveling or something because I'd imagine it's gonna be pretty burned up. really even a sight but it looks like we might be uh camping right here for the night it's about the best we got unless we're gonna shovel i mean i could have got out on the road well i guess this is just gonna have to do for the night a lot of snow back there if we were a little plowed turnaround or something we're just gonna camp in we wouldn't even be able to open our doors <laughs> all right it's been snowing pretty much all day, so you can see snow is pretty deep. It's gonna get right to it. Probably, honestly, it's cooked right here on the ground. All right, made it to camp. We're just trying to hurry up. It's snowing pretty good, and I'm not sure how this is gonna work with the oil, just cause. <clears throat> Probably gonna make it pop pretty good from all the snow, but we gotta deep fry some shrimp. We're making some shrimp tacos, gotta cut up some veggies. And uh, yeah, keep this thing brewing over here. This thing's so dirty. <laughs> we did spaghetti noodles from Florence Spaghetti. We gotta find that. <laughs> what? Uh. Uh. Huh? Not 
like that. All right. Well, uh, we got what we need. I was real scared there. That it might have gotten lost or fallen out. The light's not very good. It's dark out. Put this on. And we're hungry. Fishing was not good, so luckily we had a backup. Exactly. Which one would be the best for the shrimp? What do you think, Ross? Shrimp fry and Cajun style. Do the shrimp fry. Okay. Give her. Well, we got a little issue. The shrimp is still frozen, rock hard. We're gonna turn the heat on in the truck. Get this thought out quick because otherwise the breading won't stick, it won't work. So meanwhile, I'm going here, I grabbed uh, Ross and I, I think I did this in another video, but got a Voodoo Ranger. Have you try that? New Belgians from Texas. These were, but I think you can get them around here. Just gonna crack into this. It's good, it's kind of fruity citrusy taste. But I'm gonna shut this stuff up quick. We're just gonna hang out, let the truck hopefully thaw out some shrimp, and then we'll get to cooking, and then uh, make some good tacos. Got a bunch of stuff here, avocado, jalapenos, lime, onions, and then we're gonna hop in, hang out, watch a movie, and uh, just relax. So, catch you guys in the shrimp's thought. It's snowing out kinda decent now. Believe it or not, we did enough driving that we uh, ended up at a different campground now. So, <laughs> get in here and hopefully find us a spot to camp for the night. I'm trying to thaw this shrimp out, so. A lot of snow here, too. We might be shoveling quick, but. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, <my> no. God. <laughs> oh, we won't be going through there. Hell no. <laughs> we literally have been at two different <laughs> campgrounds. And now uh, this one, you can't even get into it. It's all plowed up snow. <laughs> Should we try the other two? This is where I camped in that winter storm when I made that taco soup. And these trees just got annihilated. I was camping right over there in that wind storm that we got that night. Wow. All right, well, this is pretty insane. Ross and I uh, went to thaw that shrimp out, ended up leaving the campground to go to a different campground, and that one was completely plowed up with snow. Couldn't get in there, and as you can see, we went to two other campgrounds, and you can't even get into them. That's how much snow there is. So now we're pretty much screwed, unless we go back to the first one we were at. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We're about 35 minutes out, which sucks but I think we're gonna make the jaunt back. We at least had, no, we have a spot to camp. So, yeah, what a crazy cluster. A lot of snow up here, and we can't get into half these campgrounds, so I think we're pretty much screwed unless we go back, so. I guess that's just what we're gonna do. What do you think about this whole ordeal? Should have stayed home today. <laughs> Our shrimp thought out. Oh yeah. All right, guys, we just made it back to the original campsite. It's been quite the cluster. Um, we drove many miles, three different campgrounds that were closed, and now we're back to the, the first one. We got the shrimp thawed out though, which was a plus, and uh, we're going to start cooking that right now. So get some tacos made, hop in the truck, and hang out, watch a movie, relax, and just chill. Look at all this snow on the back of my truck. That's crazy. Wow. That is insane. This thing set up here. Alright, 
That's what we're gonna use for our shrimp. Louisiana crispy shrimp fry. This snow needs to stop. We got our shrimp here, cooked tail off shrimp. I guess they're already cooked, but we're gonna cook them again. We got some paper towel here. I'm gonna dry these shrimp out quick. I don't know if these are gonna help at all. Get them somewhat dry before we decide to dredge them in the batter. All right, that's a lot of shrimp. All right, cut this open. Throw a bunch of this on the plate. Batter up these shrimp. I don't know how much we're gonna need. I'm sure more than that, but. Hard to keep it on that plate. It's like you're sifting for gold. Dude, that's hard. I don't care if we even burn the whole bag, whatever. But get our shrimp on here. And I gotta grab a little spatula deal for when it comes to pulling them out of the grease. Pop this. I gotta get back in there. Let's see here. What do we got? Voila. Perfect. Alright. There's that. Throw the pan on. Throw some oil in. Knife. I'm gonna cut up some veggies real quick for our tacos. We got some romaine hearts. We're gonna use that as our lettuce. And we got some red onion, white onion, some jalapenos, and some avocado and some lime. Cheese, tortillas, and we got chipotle and spicy ranchero sauce. So I'm gonna get to cutting on some of these pinots quick. Give it a little bit of spice. All right, next, you got our red onion. Cut that off. I'm probably gonna just cut this guy in half. Half right back in. Probably didn't even need that much. Mm -mm. Not nearly. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh. White onion or yellow, whatever. Cut a little bit off this guy. Throw him and back in there. Don't even. It's just popping away. Oh yeah. That snow's really making the oil pop. Cut a little bit off of here. Don't mind this, we didn't have another plate handy, so I just <laughs> put some uh, toilet, er, toilet paper. Yeah, toilet paper. <laughs> paper towel down. You like avocado? Sure. Okay. Next, we're taking avocado. I'm gonna butcher this big time, which I already did. All right, well, it's pretty much frozen. You're supposed to slice like this, I believe, but it ain't gonna work out too well because it's froze. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to have avocado. I'm not, I'm not doing that unless you want to cut some pieces off, but. All right, guys, scrap the avocado. It's frozen. It ain't cutting the best, so throw that back in there. 
gonna chop this stuff up. That looks healthy. <laughs> chop some. So ghetto. Okay. Mm. It won't be tossed again one more time. Finger them around in there. Oh yeah. Nice and moist. Alright, here we go. Shrimp's cooking. Gonna get the reflectix up. Alright. We're almost done. Setting up reflectix. Shrimp's cooking. I apologize for all the dark video, but kind of that's what we we're dealt with. I apologize guys it's kind of been a crap shoot trying to get everything figured out it's a little bit harder in the dark to film everything Ross has been helping out film and now he's uh, just cutting up some more for these tacos I'm about ready to pull them off the shrimp off the stove here and make us up some tacos hop in and kick back and watch a movie but <coughs> been through a rodeo this afternoon that's for sure did you just leave them all or what? Yeah, I just cut them like that and left them. That'll be good. Keep the seeds in there, a little extra spice. Got us some nice uh, golden crispies. Pull them out of here. And some of the batter fell off, but that's all right. Definitely uh, feel crunchy. No. Well, uh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want me to do with this? Truck? Or what? Where are you sitting? I'm sitting in the back seat. Okay. I'm going to sit in the driver's seat then. I am starving. Gonna hop in the truck, kick back, relax. It's gonna feel nice after a long day of fishing, even though the fishing wasn't good. All right. Hop in here. Just set them up there when you, before you go to the passenger side. Okay. All right. Can you see all right? Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna dish up a taco here. You sure you can see all right? <laughs> it's pretty dark in here. <laughs> it is. Here. Tortilla. I'm gonna put a bunch of spinach, whatever you wanna call it, lettuce. Grab some jalapenos. You have to dig through all that. <laughs> Got some jalapeno slices on there. Just like that. Some onion. Get all the onion on top. Last, grab a handful of some shrimp, just like this. I'm gonna throw some cheese on there. 
and some chipotle sauce. Sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top. Drizzle some of this uh, Taco Bell chipotle on top. Oh yeah, it's gonna be fire. Perfect. All right guys, this video has been so subpar. Um, it's been kind of hard to film, honestly. It's snowing out and we had a cluster shit of a night to begin with, but we got ourselves some nice uh, shrimp tacos. Hopefully you guys can see them. Got some jalapenos, some onions, some lettuce, and uh, we're gonna dig in. So go ahead and grab yourself one, Ross. This is gonna be messy. I'm asking for a disaster in the back of my truck right now, but uh, we're gonna give them a go. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. Real good. Mm-hmm. I was a little worried about the shrimp being too, like, almost kind of rubbery. I think it cooked them a little too long, but it kind of blends in real nice with that lettuce mm -hmm. and the onion and the jalapeno. It's got really good flavor. Yeah, that uh, definitely hits the spot. Finish these, hunker in, and uh, watch a movie. Prepare for a cold night. All right, we got one more uh, odd drink here. It's a Tapo Chico, I believe. Hard seltzer, spiked sparkling water. This is strawberry guava, guava. 4.7% um, alcohol by volume. And that's pretty much all it says. I'm gonna give it a try, never had one. And uh, I like trying unique, different drinks on this channel. It smells really good. Wow. It's really good. Surprisingly, that's really good. Don't mind that one bit. Definitely taste the strawberry, I like strawberry. Yeah, I'll definitely be getting another one of them at some point, those are good. Have Ross try it quick. Who makes this? Tapo Chico. Mm. <coughs> Almost blew that all over the place. That's pretty good. <laughs> Shot in my lungs. All right, it's about time to Kick back, relax, pick a movie, and hang out. Also, them tacos were really good, surprisingly. Really? Definitely hit the spot. Quick little easy meal. All I had to do is cut the veggies, fry the shrimp. And uh, I ate two of them, Ross ate one. We're both to the kind of point already where it's like, do we eat another <laughs> one? But we've been so hungry that, I mean, it kind of just set in. Kind of hit us pretty heavy, so... We got some more shrimp left over, might make another one or two. And, uh, but otherwise, I mean, overall, it was a fun day. Caught a lot of fish, just not anything worth size, worth keeping. And, uh, found out, you know, a little experimentation on a new lake. Made some good food. Discovered that a bunch of campsites are closed right now due to all the snow. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty much going to stop recording for the most part i'll let you know what movie we're watching but other than that we're gonna kick back um pick a movie enjoy it hang out and uh we'll see you guys bright and early in the morning <laughs> i don't know if you guys can see that from when we shut the truck off you can't see it at all but anyways that thermometer is reading 114 degrees in here yeah, let's see if we can 112 no all right, Ross and I decided we're gonna watch the do-over and uh, kick back here, watch this movie, and get a good night's sleep. Good morning, everybody. It's about eight o'clock. Too bad. Get 
moving. Take the Reflectex down. Wipe my windows and uh, start driving. So, see you in a bit. Here's my back window. <laughs> Got legit frost. Got to wipe this thing down pretty good after it melts. 36. Some more snow, a little bit more last night. Shoes are looking like frozen. You're gonna need no! <laughs> it's a little cold. <laughs> gonna need this morning pineapple mango orange mango it's pretty good still uh, waiting for everything to defrost and then I'm gonna go around and wipe all the windows with a shirt or something because I forgot a towel in there covered in frost so so yeah Look at this from last night. It's all just a frozen ice chunk now. Here we go. Try to thaw this out and it's just covered, covered in ice. Wow. Finally, we pretty much got her cleaned up best we could and uh, it's freezing out 13 degrees this morning my hands are pretty much numb after trying to scrape my windows and uh, we're gonna get on the road home so fun fun night camping honestly I didn't get that cold last night but as you can see it's 13 degrees almost 9 o'clock and uh, we're gonna hit the trail What? Sleeping in here. Sucked. <laughs> no, honestly, it wasn't bad. Just wish I could have straightened my legs out a little more. That's the only shitty part about it. Sucky part, whatever you gotta say. And we're off. It's driving along, seeing a bunch of coyote tracks. Came across this if you guys can see that it's an otter going back and forth across to this pond a little slide trail on the snowbank coming across the road and he's got a slide coming down the hill Let me see that. pretty cool I if that's him going around this pond on the yeah other. on the outside We are just getting back home. It was a fun night. The fishing was not uh, ideal. Tried a new lake out. Definitely won't be fishing it again. So I guess uh, it's one we can mark off the list. And we had some good food, good tacos. And uh, yeah, overall it was a fun trip. We'll be doing more of it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, if you could leave a like, leave a comment. I'd greatly appreciate it. And uh, see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Also, uh, thanks to my buddy Ross for coming and sticking it out with me through the night. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wasn't too bad, huh? No, it was fun. I'll definitely be filming some more. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know if this is safe or not. There is so much condensation in here. That... Uh, I'm gonna stick the dehumidifier in. Hopefully suck some of this moisture out. 
saying 35% humidity, so this is what we're doing now. Not sure if this is safe, but we're gonna do it. I even got some water spots. You probably can't see them on my headliner from last night. That's how wet it got from moisture and frost, so hopefully this will do the trick. Help suck some of that up. 